Characteristics of trigonometric functions. Question 5. Determine first three x intercepts to the right of origin for g of x equals to 3 cos 2x plus 60 degrees. While in this series of understanding the characteristics of trigonometric functions, we are trying to find their x intercepts, y intercepts, amplitude, axis of symmetry, and phase shift. And I hope by the end of these examples, you will understand all these important terms to really appreciate the sine function. Now, what is an x-intercept? Now, x-intercept is a point where the value of the function is zero. So, x-intercepts. Let me just write that first for you. So, x-intercept is, is a point, you can say, where... In this case, g of x, we are saying, is equal to 0. The value of function is 0. This is a point where the graph of our function touches or crosses x-axis. This is another way of looking at it. So let me just sketch one for you so that we really see and understand. See and understand is something very important. That's, that's our way of correct. In that case... In general, this is just sine theta for us. So our function here is, let's say sine theta, and the angle here is theta. Think like this. Then these points are the x-intercepts. And you'll appreciate at these points, the value of function is zero, right? Because the value of the function is along y-axis. So if there is a normal sine theta wave, then then the the x-intercepts normally for a sine function, we have three of them. So one will be at zero. The last one in one wave will be at 360 degrees. Let me write 360 degrees here. And one right in the middle at 180 degrees. So we do get three x-intercepts in a wave, which is normal, right? If you transform up and down, you can see you can reduce the number of x-intercepts and also change their position, right? If I start moving it upwards, right, then the x-intercept will come at a different point. Imagine going up from here, then you won't have x-intercept at origin. It will be at some other point, right? Okay. If there is a vertical translation, then the x-intercept's position will change. However, there will be intercepts until and unless it moves so many units up that let's say we have a wave here, in that case it may not have. So there are possibilities that we may not have x-intercepts. While in this particular question it doesn't seem to be so, since our axial symmetry is right in the origin, right? So it's not translating up and down. So in this situation, more or less, the wave is like this. The only change here is the time period. So we, our wave may not be having a time period of 360, but it will have a time period of 360 divided by 2. In any case, that's besides the question. Now, after understanding the concept, let's really calculate the position of x-intercept. Okay, so the function here is 3 cos 2x plus 60 degrees, and at x-intercept we understand that g of x is equal to 0. Therefore, we can put 0 here, say 0 equals to 3 cos 2x plus 60 degrees, right? I've drawn a sine wave to give you a concept. Well, in case of this cos wave, things are slightly different. So, let me also sketch a cos wave for you. Okay, so cos wave starts with 1. This starts with 0. So, it starts with 1 and it goes like this. So, the cos wave really has 2x intercepts, right? So the first one is at 90 degrees and the second one is at 270 degrees. So that is a cos function. It is from 0 to 1 wave, right? 360. Let me write 360 here. Correct. Now, so we can divide by 3 and we get still 0 equals to cos of 260 plus 60 degrees. Perfect. Now, you see, when is cos zero. So we could get, well, cos theta, let me write cos theta here, and theta here for the wave, right? So we see cos theta is zero at 90 and 270, 
Now, where we are interested in three. So we'll just continue this wave, cut it like this, and go further. So, so the next wave will be this point will be repeated, right? So it'll be 90 plus 360, right? So let me add 360 here. I'm just showing you calculations so that you could easily do it once you understand. 450. So I'll write this point as 450. So actually speaking, in a cos function, normal cos theta will be 0 at 90 degrees, 360 degrees, and 450 degrees, correct? So these are my three waves, I mean three x-intercepts for cosine function for a general. So this zero on the left side could happen at cos theta equals to 90, 360 and 450 degrees, correct? So these are my three x-intercepts and these three, so cos theta we say equals to zero at theta equals to 90 degrees, 270 degrees, and 450 degrees, correct? So these are my three zeros. We can also call x-intercepts as zeros on the right side of origin. So on the right side of origin, correct? So what we will do is we can say, well, in that case, 2x plus 60 should be equal to 90 degrees or 2x plus 60 should be equal to 270 degrees or equals to 450 degrees to get us three different answers. So that is how we are going to figure out what our answers are, correct? So let's equate and say, well, that means that, let me write now, 2x plus 60 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. Now, if that is so, we'll calculate for x. So 2x equals to 90 minus 60, which is 30 degrees, and x is equal to 30 divided by 2, which is 15 degrees. That gives us the first answer, right? Similarly, you can find second and the third. The second answer is repeat this operation. That means 2x plus 60 degrees is equal to 270 degrees. 270 degrees, right? Therefore, 2x is equal to 270 minus 60. That is 210 degrees. And x is equal to half of this. So it is 105 degrees, right? And the third one is 2x plus 60 degrees is equal to 450 degrees, correct? So, let me do it here, 2x, let me do it, okay, so we have 2x plus 60 degrees is equal to 450 degrees. Let me draw a line here, it's getting mixed up, okay, and from here we will take away 60, so we get 390, right, so this implies x is equal to 250 minus 60 divided by 2, or 450 divided by 60, so we'll do it like that. So x is equal to, we'll use calculator, 450 minus 60 equals to 390 divided by 2, and we get 195 degrees, correct? So we get 195 degrees. So these are three x-intercepts to the right side of origin, for our problem. So I hope you understand and appreciate how to solve these kinds of problems, okay? Now, I've seen some students making a mistake here and the mistake is when they find the first answer, 90 degrees, when they equate this, 2x plus 60 equals to 90 degrees and calculate x equals to 15 degrees, after that, they don't go into individual solutions. They just add 360 degrees to 15 degrees and land up with you know, more than 105, of course, right? And that's a huge diff mistake, right? So, you just can't do it. Here, actually, you can see that it repeats after half the cycle, right? It repeats after half the cycle, correct? Now, but the thing is, the time period of your wave is not 360. What is the time period of your wave? Time period of your cosine wave is half of 360, right? You see that? 180 and x intercept is repeating after half of that that means one fourth of 360 right so half of 180 is 90 correct so if you add 90 you will get the answers so in general for your wave since the time period let me just look into that part also I'm pushing it a bit front so the time period you will note from here 
of your function is let me write time period for t for cos for 3 cos of let me just take 2 common right x plus 30 degrees you know we could factor it out so time period of this function is how much 360 divided by 2 is 180 degrees it's not 360 degrees correct and x intercepts repeat after quarter of the time period right oh sorry half of this time period quarter of 360 in this case right half of this period so therefore so we can write here that the x intercepts repeat x intercepts repeat after half of 180 that is after half of 180 means at 90 right therefore the answers or repeating answers will be 15 degrees plus 90 and where 90 will be 1 2 3 4 you get my point so if you add 90 to 15 degrees you do get 105 do you see that and if you add 90 to 105 you do get 195 perfect so that is the solution in general do you understand if we ask a general solution for the x intercepts then for this equation general solution will be 15 degrees plus 90 n where n belongs to set of integers so this is kind of a very important addition to this problem correct i hope you understand and appreciate it thank you